Welcome to Seabrook, a coastal town shrouded in morning mist, where the air is thick with the scent of salt and mystery. Detective Clara Hastings steps into the artist's studio, her senses immediately assaulted by the sharp tang of turpentine. The room is a chaotic blend of unfinished sculptures and splattered canvases, but it is the lifeless body of the renowned artist, Elise Marlowe, that commands her attention. Clara kneels beside the body, her eyes scanning the scene with the precision of a seasoned investigator. Shattered glass glints ominously in the dim light, a silent testament to the violence that unfolded here. The time is 8.15 a.m., and the call had come in just moments ago. Clara reaches for her notebook, her mind racing through the protocols as she meticulously documents the position of the body and the surrounding evidence. The glass shards are not just remnants of the sculptures. They are a crucial part of the puzzle. As she stands, Officer Jenkins enters, his brow furrowed with skepticism. Detective Hastings, you shouldn't be here, he barks. Clara meets his gaze, calm yet resolute, knowing that every detail counts in this delicate dance of deduction. Outside the studio, the vibrant colors of the sunrise paint a stark contrast to the grim reality of the scene. The art community is already buzzing with whispers of jealousy and rivalry, and Detective Clara Hastings senses deeper secrets lurking beneath the surface. She approaches Thomas Reed, the gallery owner, whose polished appearance belies the turmoil within. His eyes dart nervously, betraying the calm facade he tries to maintain. What can you tell me about Elisa's last night? Clara asks, her voice steady, ready to peel back the layers of this tragic mystery. Thomas hesitates, his fingers twitching as if to grasp the right words. I was the last to see her, he admits, his voice barely above a whisper. She seemed troubled, but she didn't say much. Clara nods, her instincts peaked. She knows that in the world of art, emotions run deep, and rivalries can be as sharp as the glass shards that litter the studio floor. As she listens, she watches Thomas closely, noting the subtle shifts in his posture, the way his eyes flicker with unspoken thoughts. Every gesture, every word is a piece of the puzzle she must solve. The interrogation room is a stark contrast to the vibrant chaos of the artist's studio. Here, the walls are bare, the lighting harsh, designed to strip away pretenses and reveal the truth. Detective Clara Hastings sits across from Thomas Reed, her gaze steady, her demeanor calm yet probing. The tension in the room is palpable, a silent battle of wills as Clara seeks to unravel the mystery surrounding Elise Marlowe's death. Tell me about the glass shards. She presses, her voice firm but not unkind. Thomas shifts in his seat, his body language betraying a mix of anxiety and defiance. They were part of her latest installation, he explains, his voice tinged with defensiveness. She was experimenting with breaking and reassembling them. Clara nods, absorbing the information, her mind piecing together the fragments of the story. She knows that in the world of art, the line between creation and destruction is often blurred, and the truth can be as elusive as the shifting patterns of light on the studio floor. As the interrogation continues, Clara remains vigilant, her instincts honed to detect the slightest hint of deception. Every word, every pause is a potential clue in this intricate dance of deduction. As the investigation unfolds, Detective Clara Hastings finds herself drawn deeper into the tangled web of secrets and lies that surround Elise Marlowe's death. The art community is a world of passion and rivalry, where emotions run high and the truth is often obscured by layers of deception. But Clara is determined to uncover the truth, to piece together the fragments of evidence, and reveal the hidden motives that led to this tragic end. Join us on the Storyteller channel as we follow Clara's journey, delving into the heart of the mystery and uncovering the secrets that lie beneath the surface. With each new revelation, the tension mounts, drawing us ever closer to the resolution of this gripping case. Don't miss a moment of the suspense and intrigue as we unravel the mystery of Elise Marlowe's death. Follow Storyteller for the next chapter in this thrilling investigation, where every clue brings us one step closer to the truth.